So bubble sort, bubble sort is exactly as we discussed it in AS level. We studied it in AS level. There is no difference. Let's just revise it as part of 4.1.2. So we have to have an array first. Let's call it array starts with zero as lower bound. And let's say we have got values 92, 35, 63, 52, 40, then three, and then 81. All right. So let's first talk about word bubble. So let's say I've got this variable a whose value is five. All right, I've got this a whose value is five. And I've got this b whose value is nine. What I want to do, I want to swap the values of a and b. So if I try converting A is equal to B and B is equal to A. In this particular case, what will happen that they both will become nine. A is equal to B is equal to nine. This is not what I want. If I be like that B is equal to A and then A is equal to B in this particular case, a is equal to B is equal to five. That is again, what I don't want. What I will do, I will rather use another variable X. I'll make X as A, X is equal to A. This will preserve the value of A. And then I'll make A is equal to B and then B is equal to X. Now in this case, X will become five. A will become nine and B will become five. So this is a correct swap. This is bubble technique. And this is what I want. All right. So having a temporarily variable, temporary variable. All right. And that variable help us to swap values between two memory locations. Those two memory locations might be array elements or they might be variables. This is bubble technique. We will use this bubble to basically convert this array into a sorted array, an ordered array. All right. If you do remember, binary search used to be a search over a sorted array. So you might have a question in exam which likes you to input all the values to an array, then sort it, and then afterwards search for it. So it might be connected in exam. I'm not sure that how the paper question will appear, but yes, we need to learn this. Now let's suppose I want to swap 92 and 35. What I will do, this is array, so I'll be like temporarily variable is equal to array at location zero, then array at location zero is equal to array at location one and then array at location one is equal to temp. So this will actually inverse, uh, sorry. Uh, this is actually the use of bubble technique to swap. Sir, between bubble sort and insert sort, which is more efficient? Obviously insert sort, insert sort just runs a loop once and bubble sort runs the loop for unlimited number of times until the whole array is sorted and then for that even we have to have a flag in between to keep a track of if it is sorted or not 
you will see okay now i like it to be done only if the first array element is bigger than the second array element if array location 0 is greater than array element 1 only then this happens so we i be like if array 0 is greater than array 1 then this happens otherwise it does not end of. now i want to do it repeatedly from the first element till the last element what is the length of this array the length of this array is seven seven it starts with zero and ends at six all right it starts at zero and ends at six so i want to do it from first element to the last so i be like for i is equal to zero to six all right and then next i now i will have to make then the changes in the code in terms that instead of this constant value zero and one i'll be using i and i plus one so if i is zero If i is 0, then array 0 is greater than i's next location, i plus 1. If it is the case, then temporary is equal to array i, array i is equal to array i plus 1, and then array i plus 1 is equal to temp. Now, this is now happening. If it is zero, then zero and one will be swept only if they are bigger. So in this particular case, what will happen that 35 will be on top, 92 will be. When I is equal to zero, this will happen. And then when I becomes one, then 92 and 63 will be checked. 63 will come up, 92 will be down. When I will be two, then 92 and 52 will be checked. So 52 will come up and 92 will come down. Now 92 and 40 will be checked. So 0, 1, 2, 3. So 92 and 40. 40 will come up and 92 will go down. Then 4. 92 and 3. 3 will come up, 92 will go down. Then it is 5. So five and six will be checked. 92 will come down, 81 will come up. Then six. Now six will check it with, see, this is location. This is location zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now if, it, if I is six, it will check it with seven. And there is no seven there. So system will generate an error. That is why we have to keep this up to upper bound minus one. So it should better end when it is five. In that case, what will happen that five and six will be measured and there is no need to check six any further because there is no seventh position. So this is first thing that you have to adjust in your code. Secondly, if you have understood, you have realized that even though the whole loop worked and it got finished, still the array is not uh, basically sorted. So this is now 35, 
81 and 92. I want to do it again and again and again and again. So for that, I need another loop for J is equal to, again, zero to six. And then we have next J. So in the last loop, J was zero. Now J will become one and this will happen again now. All right, zero will become, oh, sorry, J will become one and this will happen again. This time 63 and 35 will be checked. There will be no change because 35 is lesser and we are looking for greater. So 63 and 52, yes, 52 will come up and 63 will come down. Then 63 and 40, yes, 40 will come up, 63 will go down. Three and 63, yes, three will come up, 63 will go down. 63 and 81, no change. Then 81 and 92, no change. So this is now J is one. And the situation that has reached is now this, that we have got an array which is 35, 52, 40, 3, 63, 81, and 92. Now J's value has become now two. So the whole thing will happen once again. So 35 and 52, no change. 52 and 40, yes, 40 will come up and 52 will go down. Then for 52 and 63, no change. Sorry, 52 and three, yes, three will come up, 52 will go down. 52 and 63, no change. 63, 81, no change. And 81, 92, no change. So J's value was zero, one, two, three, now it is four. And we have got what, 35, 40, three, 52, 63, 81, and 92. Now J's value is four, 35, 40 is checked, no change, 40 and three, yes, three will come up, 40 will go down, 42 and 52, no change, 52, 63, no change, 81, 92, no change. J becomes five. J becomes five, the new situation is 35, three, 40, 52, 63, 81, and 92. Now, J is five, so three will come up, 35 goes down. 35 and 40, fine. 40, 52, fine. 52, 63, fine. 63, 81, fine. 81, 92, fine. Again, now J has become six. Although the array is now sorted that you can see 335, 40, 52, 63, 81, and 92, still it will go on. Still it will go on. So you need to understand one thing. This is very important. Number one, when when basically uh, it ran for the very first time, the biggest value set down to the last position. The biggest value set down to the last position. And in second loop, value lesser than that and yet bigger set down position above. After that, above that. After that position, in the position which is one less, the highest remaining value sets down. So in every inside loop, the highest value is getting settled at the bottom. So as we know that this 92 is already settled down, why do we still go from zero to upper bound minus six, oh sorry, minus one, which is five. We don't need that. So it would be a good idea since we know that when the loop will run for the very first time inside loop, the highest value in the elements will settle at the bottom. We don't need to check it any further. So we must decrease the number of 
iterations in inside loop by one. So if it ran for the six times, sorry, five times, six times, zero to five, six times earlier, it should run now for five times. All right, and in that five times 81, the value lesser than the highest value, but highest in the remaining values is settled one above. And then we see that 63 settled above that and then 52 above that. So it is a good thing that instead of going for the whole loop again and again and again, we should decrease the loop. So for the very first time, we go from zero to five, then we need to go to zero to four, then zero to three, then zero to two, then zero to one, that's it. So for that, we will have to bring a change to this J. So J should not be from zero to six, rather it should become upper bound minus one, which is six minus one, five, two, zero, and should go backwards, step minus one. So it will be five earlier, then it will become four, then three, then two, then one, then zero. And this I should not go from zero to upper bound minus one, rather it should go from zero to J. So the value of J initially will be six. So it will go from zero to six, sorry, zero to five. 92 will settle down. Then J will become, because it is going back, backwards. Ulta chal a loop. Five tak jayega, pir four, then three, then two, then one. This is one thing that we have covered. Second thing that I notice, and you should also notice, that although although the loop got sorted, meanwhile, still the pseudocode ran. Now, this is the wastage of time. This array was greatly unsorted initially. What if it is already sorted? It's still for J will go from five to zero and for every J, I will go from zero to J. It is sorted. Second chance is that it will get sorted before the completion of algorithms before the completion of algorithm as it happened it happened just one last loop before but still the last loop went and got executed we don't want that so we want it to be stopped as soon as the array is executed no matter if the complete loop is not yet executed. We don't want these loops to run unnecessarily to save time, to make it more efficient. For that, we need a flag. Now, what is a flag? See. We will make a flag. Flag is any Boolean variable that we said early is sorted. You can name it whatever you like and make it true. All right. And if any of the swap thing happens, then inside if body make it false it is not sorted so before the inner loop is executed 
we made this flag true and during the loop if any of the swapping happens we will make it false and we will check over here after the completion of inside loop that if is sorted is equal to true see we cannot use arrow sign now because we are not assigning rather we are actually comparing it if is sorted is equal to true then exit for so you are outside this for already and if it is it was true and it remained true it means that the loop is sorry the array is already sorted all right so it will kick you out of this for so this exit for what it does it actually kicks you out of the for before the for is finished so now this is a complete algorithm this is now a complete algorithm which is not basically just considering the reduction of the size of the loop but it is also considering that if at any given position at any given time if the array already gets sorted or it will be sorted after like let's say two or three loops so it will kick it out theek hai mohammad salim i'll answer you later but yes short answer is yes now let's do it in all right there we go i'm going to program this particular pseudo code in python all right so this is bubble sort algorithm which is efficient and taking care of everything so let's make it inside one procedure it accepts array and for j in range length of array minus 2 why length of array is basically the total number of elements let's say we had elements how many 0 to 6 7 elements so what is the upper bound 6 and we have to run for upper bound minus 1 which is 
So that is exactly length of array minus two. All right. Or we can create upper bound over here separately and then upper bound is equal to length of array minus one. And then it will start with upper bound minus one and it will go to zero and step will be minus one. That is how it works. So for J is from upper bound minus one to zero step minus one. Now sorted is equal to true. For I in range, this will go from zero to J. Now there is one more thing that you need to consider. The thing is, this thing or J over here, will not be reached if it is going from zero to let's say uh, sorry it is going from six to zero it will step stop at one it will start from six it will stop at one similarly if it is going from zero then if j is six it will stop at five so let's see what is the result otherwise we will have to adjust these upper limits in the range this is a common thing in python Python के अंदर जो भी upper वाली range होती है उससे minus one पे रुकता है वो अगर आप उल्टा जा रहे हैं तो पहले रुक जाएगा और अगर आप सीधा जा रहे हैं तो मतलब एक से पांच पे जा रहे हैं तो चार पे रुक जाएगा और अगर आप zero से एक से पांच पे जा रहे हैं तो चार पे रुक जाएगा अगर पांच से एक पे जा रहे हैं तो दो पे रुक जाएगा इस तरह का सीन होता है so let's do it if array i is greater than array i plus one, then temporarily, <laughs> temporary is equal to array i, array i is equal to array i plus one, array i plus one, is equal to temporary. All right, and then we will make this is sorted is equal to now false. All right. This is end if, and then this is next. And here we have to check if is sorted is equal to is equal to true means if it is still true then break break means get out of the loop all right if it is still true then break break what loop so and if and for and procedure so this is it for the procedure. Now, let's make this array 92, 35, 63, 52, 40, 381. Okay. So array is equal to 92, 35, 63, 52, 40, 381. Okay. Let's print this array first, print array, <coughs> then call this bubble sort, bubble sort and send the array as parameter to bubble sort. Bubble sort. and then reprint it. 
Let's see if this algorithm works. We will have to save it first. See, if it is sorted, 335, 335, 40, 51, oh, 51, 51, 63, 92, 81. So it did not sort. Basically, the issue is here, here somewhere. Okay, so let's make it to J minus 1. Let's make it J minus one so that it could stop at J. Let's run it again. It isn't working. Let's see why it is not working. Zero to J, sorry, J plus one. Is it working now? 3, 35, 40, 51. 63, 81, and 92, it is working now. So you see, you have to basically be careful about it. Jobi aap upper range rakte hai na, usse ek pehle wo band ho jata hai. Toh hume agar usko zero tak chalana hai, toh hume j plus one tak chalana hooga. Zero se j tak chalana hai, toh hume j plus one tak chalana hooga. Toh wo ek kam pe hai, sorry. All right. 